Hello Transformers, Autobots, and Decepticons. I'm your host, RoboGamer1HD, giving you guys the latest up-to-date news regarding Transformers Reactivate and beyond. Today we have some crazy big news and unfortunate news at the same time. Today we are talking about some leaked gameplay of Transformers Reactivate, which is technically Transformers Rise from late 2020. Now, let's talk about the footage, shall we? Right off the bat, guys, I'm going to start to talk about the leaked gameplay for Transformers Reactivate. Now, in this gameplay, uh, it is very, very difficult to see because it is set in 480p. Who records the game in 480p today if this wasn't stolen from somebody else? Like, let's be real here. All right, so... We're looking at the footage here, and of course, we see Bumblebee in some underground ruins. Now, you start to wonder right off the bat, okay, where are these underground ruins? Well, of course, there's been so much chaos and destruction that the location that you are currently in is New York City. Now, obviously, other people could not tell you this because they don't know themselves, obviously. Um, but what you're seeing is of course New York City and you're playing of course as the character Bumblebee and as you see on the bottom right hand corner of your screen you will see abilities right now the only ability that is unlocked at the current level is blink and that is Bumblebee's uh, blink ability to be able to just teleport from one location to another even in your line of sight you can damage enemies by blinking through them and you will damage them maybe even kill them if they are weak enough and uh, you will uh, blink to that teleport location in front of you. You can do the same thing with your vehicle. So if you are using your blink ability, even in vehicle form, you can also blink to that location. You of course have Bumblebee's signature weapon, which is the default weapon that is also with the toy. <laughs> the main weapon that Bumblebee is holding in this gameplay footage is called Demise. And this is actually the main weapon that Bumblebee uses even on the toys that we have today for Transformers Reactivate. Most people will guess Will Friedel, and that is a possible good guess as well, but my current possibility on the voice actor is Robbie Damon. The other possibility is the guy who played Ito in, Ge in Genshin Impact. It's also a possibility, but my stance is on Ravi Robbie Damon. As you, key, as you can see, on the top left-hand corner of your screen is the minimap. Some people will claim on the brand new Reactivate version of the game that is in the bottom left. But uh, who knows, right? Until Splash Damage decides to show their version of the game. You're currently rescuing the Resistance team. The Resistance team is also known as some of your members in EDC. What you are currently looking at is the very first mission in Transformers Reactivate. The other things that you will notice is Bumblebee has a health bar and a shield bar on the top blue being health, the bottom white being shield. In Transformers Reactivate, there is a boost bar for you being able to boost in your Transformers vehicle, but also there is an overheat meter for your weapons. So like your primary and secondary weapon and your vehicle weapons, just like in the old Transformers Revenge of the Fallen video game, there is overheating on your weapons. Just like I have stated in previous videos, yes, there is overheating like in Transformers Revenge of the Fallen. Also, while people will try to claim different versions of the Legion enemies that exist in this version of the game, they are actually very similar, if not almost the same, as the ones that are in Splash Damage's Transformers Reactivate. They are simply so many different versions of those Legion enemy types that people just don't know what they are called. They're actually more military-like military in form and rank than you guys actually know about. As you will also notice, there is elemental types in Transformers Reactivate. Enemies can damage you with buffs and debuffs, whatever they want to do. And the same goes for you as a Transformers player. You will also be able to access being able to do buffs and debuffs for your characters, team links, that sort of things. And that's where perks come into play in the main menus of your game, being able to do loadouts, different things to your weapons, various different perks and whatnot as time goes on. Yes, Legion does have different ranks and they, they get harder and harder as you level up yourself. In different missions different zones have their own difficulty for each individual legion enemy type and yes 
Legion will keep getting stronger and stronger as you go further into missions. So be prepared because there is a range for uh, that difficulty, for that mission, for that uh, that play. And uh, go in as a team, get prepared, uh, prepare your enemy, uh, prepare your, your loadouts and go into battle and enjoy your time playing as Bumblebee or whoever you want to play as in Transformers Reactivate. There's so many different types and way you, ways you can load out your character and make it as awesome as possible. I get it. There's, there's only 13 seconds of footage, but let's be honest here. There is so much more that you can do than what you've seen in this small set of footage. And I am truly excited for you guys to be able to play the game at some point in time in the future as well. The Transformers Reactivate footage is now out in the wild. And I personally am going to be honest with you guys and that I've been keeping a secret for about a year and a half now. And the reason for the fact about that is that splash damage has not revealed the game yet. That is why I've been keeping a secret about this footage. I've been doing blurry, blurry footage, sorry guys, with you guys uh, for a while now because the game has yet to be revealed by splash damage or Hasbro themselves. That's the reason why I do blurry footage. I've told people in voice chat before the reason why I don't po post full on gameplay is because of the what if situations. What if Transformers Reactivate is revealed and there is something in the game that people just don't like or wish it was more like the previous game or maybe they even say that, man, this game looks so bad and it's not actually Splash Damage's gameplay. That could be game modes, story, uh, gameplay, uh, anything like that. There are so many what if situations people don't seem to realize or think about with the gameplay being leaked. Yes, I have leaked gameplay personally in the past, but it wasn't full on gameplay. It was walking animations, uh, uh, just uh, a character being idle, that sort of thing where you can see. And, but then there's stuff where, yes, the gameplay is leaked in the past, but it wasn't full on gameplay, guys. You can see like stuff like the hood in some of this leaked gameplay or character shooting, etc. Whereas my stuff was humble at best, not extreme like we see today. Most of it is blurred so that you couldn't fully tell what was going on because, like I said, I don't want to leak something that isn't Splash Damage's stuff. Like it's, and, and not that to say that I would leak Splash Damage's stuff, I'm saying that uh, the reason for that is because I respect Splash Damage and I want them to be able to release their gameplay first. I've said this in a live stream before, guys, and I, uh, I've maybe said it like two or three times in the past and I, I just want you guys to know that even today. Now we have Transformers Generations, the person who has leaked the gameplay, also known as Sanders, which I have multiple reasons that he is a known liar in the Transformers community, just so that he could be, he could stay relevant basically. Now I don't want to create drama and I really would like to avoid it as much as I can. But when a guy like this Transformers Generation tells members of the Transformers community that last week he was secretly invited to play a play test with the newest version of Transformers Reactivate with only eight people at a disclosed location in Texas, it starts to make you wonder if the guy is telling the truth. Also the fact that he practically describes the leaked footage that he's posted online to viewers that we see today on screen which again is not Splash Damage's up-to-date version of the game. I do have audio footage of this, but I'm not gonna post it on this video because again, I don't want to call out this person in such an extreme way. I just want to move on and get forward with this stuff. Time and time again, I see so much mi misinformation around Transformers Reactivate. It's just appalling to me. It's just not, it's not just him either. We see other content creators out there uh, like that would use footage or screenshots provided by me through research that I have found without any new information themselves. Most of their research is simply riding on anything that I post without any credit whatsoever. And it is absolutely disgusting. I don't get it. I really, I truly don't guys. It's funny, but the, all of this content creator stuff, it's, it's truly baffling to me and I would rather avoid it if I can, but like What's two seconds of crediting someone and then moving on with your life? Like, come on, guys. <laughs> and, and truly, I could care less about the credit. But at the same time, I've gone through extensive research days and day out trying to find stuff about this game. Because, again, 
we don't have stuff from splash damage because they are so silent throughout development. I, I'm i okay with people reporting on what I have shared on my channel, but if you guys don't ask permission about footage without my consent, please guys, just don't use it. If like, even if it's private stuff and I've I've even laid it out for people sometimes, like if I, if I even tell you, just don't share it. If it's not on my channel, don't share it without my permission. Uh, <laughs> Fire Brothers, I'm sorry, dude, but I have to call you out as well. Uh, I got to call you out because of the misinformation about that 2028 thing for once. Uh, recently, I posted a video about the 2025 uh, window, at least for Transformers Reactivate. And that is the most update concrete information we have from a leaked Hasbro confidential document. And it shows a schedule for Transformers Reactivate to be, to be released in 2025 of this next year that is super super exciting guys if you haven't checked out that video please click it in the top right hand corner of your screen you guys will be super excited to check that out as well however fire brothers i'm sorry dude but we all know the game is not coming out in 2028 it was a a typo from a developer at bulkhead a sub studio of splash damage that's helping them with the game and uh they got the dates wrong um, and most of the information lines up with 2025. If I am wrong, then of course you guys will know and I, and the game is probably most likely doomed or just really pushed off and, and delayed, uh, into 2028. But, uh, for that information, guys, that is most likely a typo. And I think people have confirmed that it is a typo. Uh, and that of course is also coming from a bulkhead employee, not splash damage. So guys, we've seen a lot of things connecting with 2025 and there's only this one typo of 2028. It doesn't make any sense. Anyway, moving on. Sorry, Fire Brothers. Just had to say that, my dude, but uh, we're moving on. The fact of the matter is here, guys, that people out there will claim things without evidence. And I have been prone to that as well. Maybe not sharing the most concrete evidence out there. And for example, March. In March, I claimed a video that big news was coming soon. And I was super excited because this information actually did come from a confidential document from a Hasbro employee. However, this might have been related to the May thing instead of Hasbro Pulse. I made assumptions about Hasbro Pulse thinking that Transformers Reactivate was going to show up at an event like Hasbro Pulse. And I said that it might be there, right? And I ended up failing on that and thinking it was going to be that within that range of March to, to May. And uh, of course, we didn't actually see anything physically ourselves, but really it was behind a closed doors thing for May, which is now what we see as the confidential document that Hasbro released for 2025 of Transformers Reactivate being in 2025. So this confidential document was clearly out there somewhere, but we didn't get to see it. So I made assumptions back then. Uh, so there's things that I get to hear about that I can't, fully relay but also at the same time don't have all the full details regarding it so while i try to relay things as much as possible it may not always come out as the best way possible if that makes sense and um it's it's not like it's like that uh information that i i laid out for you guys of like first party versus third party leaked information or or sources if that makes sense and like i've said in the past in other videos of you guys need to take things as a grain of salt you don't know what's true you don't know what's 100 percent concrete and i want you guys to take things with a grain of salt as much as possible anyway moving on uh i just wanted to say that it gives a big headache to me uh, and uh, I just try to bring the facts as much as possible to Transformers fans about the game as much as I can. And if I don't, I'll be open and honest that even I messed up about the details on the game. And I hope that I can be honest and open with you guys as much as possible going forward with stuff regarding the game. As we go forward, guys, before we talk about the gameplay breakdown here is that Transformers Reactivate, we truly don't have anything from Splash Damage. And that is the biggest issue right now is there's no information. So we're going to let Splash Damage cook. And when they're ready to show something, they're ready to show something that's as simple as that. So now after getting through all of that debacle of misinformation, I understand guys that I have been probably ranting on for too long regarding this topic and probably most of you don't really care and that's the truth. Most people don't really care and truly I wish I didn't care as well but 
when stuff like this comes up i want to try and set the record straight so long story short guys i hope you guys all enjoyed i'm glad that you guys are able to see gameplay finally but also at the same time i also wish that it didn't get shown in this way and some people feel the same way as me regarding this topic however guys thank you so much for watching i hope you guys all enjoyed and i hope you enjoyed my breakdown regarding this footage for transformers reactivate thank you all for watching once again i hope you guys stay close to me and look forward to the next video that i release regarding transformers reactivate thank you all i look forward to seeing you all in my next video and of course i'll see you all on the battlefield